bringing new life into the world is a miraculous experience and it is essential to prioritize the health and well-being of both the mother and the developing child during pregnancy. Medications can be powerful tools for managing virus health conditions, but it's crucial to be aware that not all medications are safe to take during pregnancy. In this video, we will explore 10 common medications that pregnant women in the United States should avoid. By understanding the potential risks associated with these medications, expecting mothers can make informed decisions and ensure a safe journey for themselves and their babies. Disclaimer: The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of a qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have watched in this video. Number 1. Accutane or Acne Medication Accutane is a potent medication used to treat severe acne. However, it is crucial to understand that Accutane poses a significant risk to the developing fetus. The active ingredient in Accutane, isotretinoin, has been proven to cause severe birth defects if taken during pregnancy. Even a single dose of Accutane can have detrimental effects on the developing baby. Pregnancy is a critical period of growth and development for the fetus, and any exposure to Accutane can disrupt this delicate process. The medication has been linked to virus birth defects including abnormalities in the central nervous system, facial deformities, heart defects, and intellectual disabilities. These effects can have a lasting impact on the child's health and quality of life. Number 2. ACE Inhibitors or High Blood Pressure Medication ACE inhibitors are medications often prescribed to individuals with high blood pressure. They work by relaxing blood vessels, which helps to lower blood pressure. However, when it comes to pregnancy, ACE inhibitors can present a potential risk to the developing baby. During pregnancy, the placenta plays a crucial role in providing oxygen and nutrients to the growing fetus. ACE inhibitors have been found to reduce blood flow in the placenta, which can compromise its ability to deliver adequate nourishment to the baby. Number 3. NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. In simpler terms, NSAIDs, which include well-known pain relievers like ibuprofen or aspirin, can be harmful to the developing fetus and may even increase the chances of miscarriage. These medications work by reducing inflammation and alleviating pain, but they can have negative effects on pregnancy. Number 4. Warfarin Blood Thinners Warfarin is a medication that is commonly prescribed as an anticoagulant, which means it helps prevent blood clots from forming. However, when a pregnant woman takes warfarin, it has the ability to cross the placenta, the organ that nourishes and supports the developing baby in the womb. This can potentially cause harm to the developing baby. The reason warfarin poses a risk during pregnancy is because it interferes with the normal blood clotting process, which is crucial for the healthy development of the fetus. If the blood clotting ability is affected, it can increase the risk of complications such as bleeding in both the mother and the baby. Number 5. Valproic Acid Antiepileptic medication. Valproic acid is a medication that is commonly prescribed to individuals who suffer from epilepsy, a neurological disorder characterized by recurrent seizures. Its primary purpose is to help control and prevent seizures in these patients. However, research studies have revealed that taking valproic acid during pregnancy can significantly increase the risk of birth defects in the developing fetus. One particular concern associated with valproic acid used during pregnancy is the higher incidence of neural tube defects. The neural tube defect is a crucial structure that forms early in pregnancy and eventually develops in the baby's brain, spinal cord, and surrounding tissues. Number 6 methotrexate, rheumatoid arthritis medication. Methotrexate is a strong medication that is commonly prescribed to help individuals with rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune conditions. It works by suppressing the immune system and reducing inflammation in the body. However, when it comes to pregnancy, methotrexate poses a significant risk to the developing fetus. Number 7. Tetracycline Antibiotic Tetracycline and other antibiotics in the same class have been found to have negative effects on the development of fetal bones and teeth. When taken during pregnancy, these medications can potentially interfere with the proper formation and growth of the baby's bones and teeth. As a result, it is strongly recommended that pregnant women avoid taking tetracycline and similar antibiotics to minimize any potential harm to the developing baby. If a pregnant woman requires antibiotic treatment, healthcare providers will prescribe alternative antibiotics that are
are considered safer during pregnancy. These alternative antibiotics can effectively treat bacterial infections while minimizing the risk of adverse effects on the baby's skeletal and dental development. Number 8. Lithium Mood Stabilizer Lithium is a medication that is frequently prescribed to individuals with bipolar disorder, a mental health condition characterized by extreme mood swings. It helps stabilize mood and prevent episodes of mania and depression. However, when it comes to pregnancy, it is important to note that lithium has been linked to an increased risk of cardiac defects or abnormalities in the structure or functioning of the heart in babies born to mothers who take the medications during pregnancy. Pregnant women who are currently taking lithium or planning to become pregnant should consult with their healthcare providers. They need to discuss the potential risks and benefits of continuing lithium treatment during pregnancy. Number 9. Retinoids – Acne and Anti-Aging Medication Retinoids are a class of medications commonly used to treat acne and reduce signs of aging. They come in the form of topical creams or oral medications and are known for their effectiveness in improving skin conditions. However, when it comes to pregnancy, caution must be exercised. Research has linked retinoid use during pregnancy to severe birth defects. These defects can affect the development of the baby's organs, limbs, and central nervous system. It is believed that retinoids may interfere with the normal growth and formation of the fetus, posing potential risk to its overall health. Number 10 Misoprostol Medication for Inducing Labor Misoprostol is a medication that is commonly used to either induce labor or facilitate an abortion. It works by causing contractions in the uterus, which can help to initiate labor or end a pregnancy. However, it is crucial to emphasize that pregnant women should never use this drug without medical supervision. When misoprostol is used without proper medical guidance, it can pose serious risk to both the mother and the developing baby. The medication's ability to induce uterine contractions it can potentially harm the baby and lead to complications. During pregnancy, the health and safety of both the mother and the developing baby should always be the top priority. It is essential for expectant mothers to communicate openly with their healthcare providers about any medications they are taking or considering taking. By being aware of the potential risks associated with certain medications, pregnant women in the United States can make informed decisions and ensure a safe and healthy journey for themselves and their babies. Remember, when in doubt, always consult a healthcare professional to guide you through the right choices for a safe and successful pregnancy. For a more comprehensive understanding of this topic, please refer to the following link down below in the description, which provides a list of the top 10 questions to ask your pharmacist when picking up your medication. If you're new here, welcome to Dr. Vivian Medications and Natural Supplements. Our channel is dedicated to providing valuable information on health and wellness that's made by a licensed professional. Times are crazy and it's extremely important to be well informed and taking care of yourself. If you enjoy watching, please help us out by liking this video. In this way, we will know how well we're doing. And if you like more of these, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification to stay on top for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.